Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so today we have a traffic engineering problem, a traffic analysis in particular. Here's what the question says. An automatic traffic recorder, ATR, indicates 1,067 axles passed over the detector in an hour. Uh, it also estimated from prior research that 15% of vehicles were five axle trucks. Uh, based on this information, how many passenger cars and five axle trucks passed over the detector during the recorded hour? And we see our four options available to us, A through D. And uh, all right, so the way that we're going to solve this guy is really logic. I don't even know that you would really use the manuals or the handbooks for this one. It's like logic. I don't know that there's a formula out there, but here's kind of the solution. We know that passenger cars have two axles. So I'm just going to write PC equals two axles. That's just common knowledge, right? You have a front axle and a back axle. What about these trucks? Well, the trucks have five axles. That was given to us in the problem, so I'm just going to write that out right here. All right, so now we need to uh, kind of follow our logic test. Well, it says we have 1,067 axles in total, and we know that there's two axles per passenger car, and we need to solve for the number of passenger cars and trucks. So what we need to do is we need to go uh, almost sort of derive our own equation. We have two axles uh, per passenger car, so that's PC for short. Then we need to multiply that by the number of passenger cars, all right? And then we need to add five axles uh, per truck, all right? And then we need to multiply that by the number of trucks. And this guy actually ends up being 1067, okay, and that's total axles. So uh, just a logic test, you know, that, that makes sense. So uh, we have two unknowns here. So what do we do? What, what's kind of the next step? Well, we're also given the percentage of how many trucks, how many uh, uh, vehicles were actually trucks. And so basically what that means is the number of trucks over the total number of vehicles, which is the trucks, plus the passenger cars, this is equal to 15%. So that's what that statement means. This is also 0 0.15. Okay, so we'll need that here in a minute. Um, okay, so if we can derive this equation to our knowns, unknowns, we can basically plug and chug and solve for this guy. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and bring this number of trucks plus number of passenger cars over we're going to multiply it out so that way we have the number of trucks by itself. And so if I'm going to go ahead and write that out, you have number of trucks being equal to 0 0.15 times the number of trucks plus the number of passenger cars. Again, this is just using your engineering brain to solve a problem. All right, and so uh, that 0.15 can actually distribute, and our goal, remember, our goal is to get this in similar units. Right now, we still have two unknowns, but we can actually solve this guy to be one unknown. So right now, notice we have the number of trucks on the left, number of trucks on the right, too, and we also have number of passenger cars. I think this would be easier if we solve for the number of passenger cars. Uh, it almost creates like a ratio of the number of trucks per passenger car. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to have the number of trucks on the left, and then we're going to divvy out that 0.15. So that 0.15 times the number of trucks, and that's going to add uh, 0 0.15 times the number of passenger cars. All right, so now what? Well, we can subtract this 0.15 trucks, and we have passenger cars on the right. That's what we're going to do, number of trucks uh, minus 0 0.15, number of trucks. And this is equal to 0 0.15 times the number of passenger cars. So now we can divide by 0 0.15, 0 0.15, cancels that out. And we divide it over here, 0 0.15. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit here. And so if I was to simplify this, you actually end up with something that looks like this, 5.667 uh, times the number of trucks. Oops, that's an S. Times the number of trucks 
is equal to the number of passenger cars. So basically, for every uh, truck, we have 5.667 passenger cars. So that that's that. Um, all right, so now we have this sort of solved. We have an unknown solved. We know that our passenger cars is equal to 5.667 times the number of trucks. So then if we plug it in, I'll kind of draw an arrow here. If we plug this into right there, we will have our units in the number of trucks. We can solve for the number of trucks and then plug it back in and we solve for the number of passenger cars. So, hey, while I've got you here, if you've already enrolled in one of the review courses at civilengineeringacademy.com, keep it up. You can do this. If you haven't, I encourage you to go to civilengineeringacademy.com to check out some awesome practice exams and resources that will help you pass your FE and PE exams the first time. So with that said, this right here actually ends up being something like this, two times the axles uh, per passenger car. Go ahead and write the number sign, keep it uh, keep it the same here, times the number of passenger cars. Well, remember, we solved for that, so this is actually 5.667 times the number of trucks. All right, and then we need to add the uh, five axles. Oops, five axles per truck. And we need to multiply that by the number of trucks. This is number of trucks. All right, and uh, we know that this actually ends up being 1067 axles, right? And so whenever we solve four trucks, the number of trucks ends up being uh, 65.32 trucks, right? And that is actually needs to bump up, so this is actually 66 trucks. You can't really have a .32 trucks. All right, so now we can solve for the number of passenger cars, and this guy is going to be, we actually solved for it, it's 5.667 times the number of trucks. So we can use the 65 or we can use the 67. Doesn't really matter uh, because we're it, it asked for our nearest, right? So it says uh, about how many about how many passenger cars and five axle uh, vehicles. So if you actually did use that rounded 66, I'm going to use the 65.32 again. Uh, you can use either one, but if you use that 66, you're going to be off by four five so uh this guy actually ends up being 370.17 so in reality this would also need to be bumped up to 371 uh passenger cars but i'm going to go ahead and add these raw numbers up uh, so that way we can kind of see where we're headed with this problem this guy is if we add the six, 65.32 plus 370.17 uh, this ends up being 435 Point four nine vehicles. Again, let me reiterate. In reality, you're going to bump these up. Uh, these are going to be six. This one's going to be sixty six. This one's going to be three hundred seventy one. But it said about, so we're just going to keep rolling with the numbers that we got, and we'll uh, we'll see how close we get. So that was four thirty five point four nine. Uh, and so about, we end up with about four hundred and thirty five vehicles. So C. Hope this video helps. Hope it clears some things up. We'll catch you next time.